how to apply a watermark to a smog mug gallery what we're going to do is go to selling tools and that's going to take us through to the branding where we're just going to click manage branding and then we want watermarks we want to manage this is where we're going to create our watermark now if you haven't got your own P transparent png you can just use text simple text so we'll use a copyright symbol which is alt g on a mac and alt 0169 on a pc and then write whatever you like for that text you can change the size of it i'll just do 72 and make it a little bit bigger change where the position of the text is going to be and move it back to the center you can change the color so if you've got quite a white photo you can put a black black text on you can change the style of the text so if you've got a website with a particular text you want to use so that it all blends together this is where you can change the text i'm looking for clicker script which is quite a fancy curly type of text but it's small so we need to make that bigger so if we go for 120 px which is pixels it's made it a bit bigger then the fade on here is the opacity so how sort of see-through it is because you don't want it too thick but you do need your watermark to be quite it doesn't want to be too pretty basically because the idea is that it's to protect your photos so let's move it back to the center now if we click on image if you've got your own transparent png click on the photo you can either upload a new photo or choose from your smog mug gallery let me find my transparent pngs you can download any of these from me for free i'll put the link in the description below if you don't know how to use photoshop to create one the, the free now again if we put the fade up this is exactly how you'll get them and you can just bring the fade down to what's going to suit your photos so they'll be black and white depending which ones you want to use and then what you need to do is give your watermark a name so i'll just put new watermark copyright symbol white so that it's obvious when i come to the gallery which one's which and then click save or create that's created there now what we're going to do is go back to organize and find the gallery i want to apply this watermark to go to the settings of the gallery and we want photo protection and where it says apply watermark we'll switch that on and under default there we go that's what i've just created the new watermark so that is going to be applied to the whole of this gallery okay so what i'm going to do is go up to my photo site because i have got this gallery it's on my dog's website in the dog's blog here we go oh it's already been applied so click on that page this is where i have the gallery there we go this watermark has been applied already i'll click on the gallery and have a look there we go all the photos in that gallery have that watermark which we've just created on and that looks fine you wouldn't want to steal that photo really with that big c on and i do think the big c's work best to be honest so i say all these are free i'll put the link in the description below you can just download what you like to be able to use on your smug mug website also with smog mug these are just for protection so when someone buys your photo or buys a download or a print they are not applied they are just basically for photo protection online which is great and there's a discount for smog mug in the description below too